the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, JFK landing on the moon, release of Shrek. Unrelated but equally important as these major events in world history is the creation of this little guy. This is, let me put this up to the camera, that is not going to focus, this is the Flash Ebo. You're probably thinking, Doc, first of all, you've got a hell of a beard. Second of all, that's really small. What the heck is this thing? This is the answer to Amiibo that I have been waiting for for seven years. Okay, maybe eight. How long is eight? Eight years? Nine. Wow, Amiibo's old. Anyway, nine years-ish. Here's the deal. You all are familiar with things like the Amiibo flask, the power saves for Amiibo, right? You plug a thing into your computer or connect to your computer through Bluetooth and you put the power tag on it or the whatever and it scans, changes, and then it emulates the tag onto your Switch. You don't need to do that anymore. And this thing is the way to go. It's also really cheap. Like, what the heck? I was actually really surprised. Um, I won't demonstrate for you right now because actually the creator has a pretty solid video on it already. So just check that in the description. It's a YouTube short, so it's short. But this thing was like 20 bucks on Amazon, probably discounted for Black Friday. Uh, the last I checked on it, all it is, you download an app, it's the same app for iOS and Android. So both types can use it. This isn't like Tagmo where you gotta have Android to write to the in tags or whatever. You just get this little gizmo, all right? You can put any amiibo on it. You just flash it to the thing using your legally obtained amiibo bin files. You put it on your Switch and it works. And then, and this for Zelda players, pay attention. This is very important. It's got a little button. Listen. Oh, that's a satisfying click. If you can hear it. Oh, there's a little beep too. The button you push, okay? And it actually scrambles the serial ID of your amiibo. If you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, what that basically means is that to the Switch, you scanned exactly the same amiibo, but it's technically different, right? So if you're playing like Tears of the Kingdom and you need like, I don't know, sexy Ganondorf, but you need two sexy Ganondorfs, you only have like one sexy Ganondorf figure, okay? You can take your sexy Ganondorf figure, I, that's a phrase I never thought I would say, I'm gonna be honest, and <laughs> take your figure, right? Get the bin file of it using whatever means and methods you do that, put it on this, First of all, you have a second one, but if you want to scan two of them in one day again, you just scan it, beep, scan it again. Just like that. It's crazy. So I, this is really probably the last Amiibo tech you're ever going to need. Um, unless you're doing like huge Amiibo tournaments, in which case maybe a power saves or flask would still be necessary. Literally everyone who does anything with Amiibo only needs this. And it's 20 bucks. This is the 20XX of Amiibo Tech, okay? So like, links in the description below. Seriously, go check it out. I'm doing, anyway, check it out. Merry Christmas if I don't see you again. It's Happy Thanksgiving because we still got that first. It's basically Christmas time, right?